half, you were, you were right in the game, two points at the break, why couldn't you quite, why couldn't you quite kick on thereafter? Um, I was frustrated after the game, we, we felt we made a few errors in, in the second half, whether that be launching from lineouts, and uh, and it, we just sort of released the pressure valve in, in, in a sense, and, and couldn't really build any pressure going into the second half because we just kept turning possession over. Um, and then, you know, obviously we, we gave Ireland a set piece or something, they were they were able to exit their half, and then it's always difficult you know, when you're trying to score from deep. There was a huge period of pressure just before half time, you went through 20 odd phases right on the Irish line, and, and they managed to withstand that. Did that knock any of the stuff in out of you at all? No, not at all. We were really confident at half time, and uh, we felt um, we were really on top of them, we were causing them problems with our attack. And, we just couldn't convert that into, into the second half, and, uh, and that's what's cost us the game. I think we were in a good position at half time, uh, but our performance in the second half uh, through some of the errors uh, cost us again. The softness of the tries that you conceded, given that a lot of the defence was so good, uh, largely is the softness of the tries a real frustration? Yeah, losing any tries is frustrating, and probably the, the way they happened today. And um, But you've got to say credit to Ireland, they, they've got opportunities and they scored tries. So. Again, uh, we, we need to, to make sure we don't switch off and have any of these soft moments against a quality team. We knew going into that game uh, against Ireland, we knew from the way we switched off a little bit last week against Italy, you can't do that in this competition. And um, the soft tries cost us badly. Greg, you looked and sounded very upset with it. There at the points. What was going on there? What were the, the, the decisions? And could you kind of explain um, why you weren't getting so frustrated? Yeah, there was one in particular, I think, you know, we launched off a line out in the second half and, and Sean O'Brien kind of reefed the ball and I just felt Roman was right there and he, he gave a knock-on against us when it was clearly not a knock-on, it, it was play-on, so you can understand wh why when the way the game was going as it was going, we, when we never knocked the ball on, we get frustrated, we talk about test matches and turning on small points and, and again that just allowed us to release the pressure valve and, yeah, so it was it was a big call in the match in, in my eyes. So you know, clearly, from a Scottish point of view, we're disappointed with it. You mentioned Scotland's on, on mistakes and letting off the pressure valve, but when that happens as well, is it is it difficult to, to recover from? Yeah, yeah, against uh, you know the second best ranked team in the world, um, of course it is. And you know, I talked Ireland were clinical when they got opportunities to score tries. So you've got to uh, tip their hat, tip your hat to them, and you know, say well done. Anything else for Greg? Um, Greg, what frustrates you more? The, the, the so much good defence undone by a couple of soft mistakes, or the fact that you had that long period of pressure in both halves and couldn't convert them into more tries? Well, both e equally uh, is frustrating, and I think we just need to be patient when we're in, in, in that area and either pick up a penalty and play under penalty advantage or. Uh, and then the softness of the of the a couple of the tries is quite clearly disappointing because the the, the effort was was unbelievable today. The energy in, in our defence for for large parts was outstanding, and I think you could see us coming off the line and, and putting Ireland under pressure, and we, we caused quite a lot of turnovers for them. And traditionally, a team that don't turn over the ball, so there was a huge effort. But we we need to make sure we have no soft moments. France next. Was there anything in today's game that gave you a lot of confidence going into that match? Yeah, there's large parts of it. Give us a lot of confidence, and uh, we're we're in the test match again today against a quality Ireland Ireland team. And we feel we can go to France and, uh, and put in a strong performance and get a win, and that's that's what we need to turn our attention to now. We've lost this game. We're never going to get it back. So we need to when we come back together, uh, learn from it, and then make sure we take the step and and go and win on the road. Thanks for Greg. One more. Hi, Greg. Um, in this World Cup year, you've now had uh, two first two matches of the year behind you. Um, how do you want the team to develop further as you approach the World Cup? I think we're on a really good uh, sort of development track, and I think I think we're almost there in one sense because we're playing some tremendously good rugby. We're scoring a lot of tries, and we just need to fine tune uh, the last few bits and. But we're really not looking at t towards the World Cup, if I'm being honest at the moment. We're still in this competition in the Six Nations and it, it's vitally important now we turn this round and, and go to a place like France and, and, and get a win. And so if we win in France, we're still in the competition.